For hundreds of years in Africa, they spoke in whispers of the white god. Legend crept stealthily through the jungle until sightings of the white lions were first reported in the early 1900s. When the first white lions appeared, everybody thought that they were albinos. We now know they're not albinos because they have pigment. So it's a recessive gene that's in the species. So if we go back in Egyptian religious mythology, then you read about the white lions that were the protectors of the great kingdoms of the pharaoh. And you read there that they say that the white lions were the children of the sun god Ra. If you go to African religious mythology, then you read that they believe that when the earth is sick, when the earth needs healing, God sends his children in the form of white lions to the earth to heal the earth. But are there problems ahead? Uh, in the Kruger research that was done in the Kruger Park, uh, that the white females that stayed behind with the pride were killed by the buffalo because they're too conspicuous, they, they, they stand out too much. So they would have that, that problem of surviving in the park, but with today's technology, uh, we can track them. And if there are problems with them hunting, uh, we can do a little bit of supplement feeding. But the whole, the whole purpose is to link them with wild lions so that the wild lions will teach them to hunt and, if possible, do the hunting for them. Harry is very concerned about his hand-raised male tawny lion, which will be introduced to a white female lion under controlled conditions. He was hand-raised. We got him when he was about three and a half days old. Uh, so he was raised in the house, he was hand raised, so he focuses on human beings because he thinks he is part of the human species. All right, what we've just did now, we've introduced Little Mapimpan and uh, his bride-to-be, the white female. For the first time, Mapimpan has met a real lion in his life. You've seen uh, in the beginning there was initial aggression, not much aggression, luckily. Will the white lions make it in the wild? Nothing's guaranteed, but with the hard work of Ari and his team and other researchers like them, these beautiful animals might have a fighting chance.